Hello everyone, Philopater here, and welcome to another exciting episode of Total War Rome 2. In this battle, I will be playing as the army of Epirus, while my opponent, whose name is Southwest Sapuku, plays as the Armenians. Now, Epirus is one of those factions that you don't see a lot in multiplayer, they're certainly not one of the power factions, but if you can recognize their strengths and weaknesses, you can still have fun playing them. So for my army, it's a bit jumbled up right now, uh, but I have a Hellenic, Royal Cavalry General. I have three mercenary Cretan archers, and where are they? Two mercenary Rhodian slingers. Knowing that Armenia is a skirmish faction, I wanted to come a bit skirmish heavy. Let's see if the lines straighten out a bit. Uh, I have two mercenary Italian cavalry, a levy pikemen, two militia hoplites. Let's see, where are they? Three mercenary Etruscan hoplites, and then two regular hoplites. And then over here on this hilltop, I have two citizen cavalry. I didn't think my opponent would try and rush for this hilltop, but I wanted to be able to contest him if that happened. Now my opponent, who is actually going for this hilltop, and I'm more than happy to let him have it, my opponent has brought a mix of skirmishing and infantry. Now Armenia, the Cartley Axemen, I like the idea of the Cartley Axemen, but they're simply not the strongest guys around, and they leave a little bit to be desired. Anyways, uh, my opponent has brought a noble spearman general, he has two Eastern Cataphracts, one there and then one back there. He has brought two Persian Hoplites that he will try and use as a flanking force. He has brought a motley assortment of Kirtley Axemen, regular Axemen, and then... Where are they? Oh no! I think they're Hillmen running through these trees. Maybe? There they are. There's a group of Hillmen. And then he has brought five Skirmishers, a mix of Eastern Archers, and Eastern Slingers. There are some Slingers. He has also brought two noble horse archers, and somewhere over here is a regular horse archer. And he doesn't see my citizen cavalry, so I'm hoping I can get a downhill charge through the woods. And here it comes. However, once the noble horse archers enter the woods, my men lose sight for a split second, and the charge just stops. And so the noble horse archers are going to get that brief extra second to respond and get a volley off, and I've wasted my charge. Anyways, I see my opponent forming up on this hillside in this grove of trees, so I decide to take uh, this grove of trees, and of course I'm more than willing to meet him halfway, if he so chooses. Now you'll notice that I'm bunching up my mercenary Cretan archers on my right flank, as opposed to spreading them out in long, thin lines. Yes, long, thin lines are better for skirmishing, but what you're going to see is how I get all three of my Cretan archers trained on this one unit of eastern archers, and they're going to quickly win. Quick reload is going to help me win even faster. Do, 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 do. In the meanwhile, skirmishing is taking place. Uh, there is his unit of horse archers. Of course. My citizen cavalry is chasing off his noble horse archers, and eventually they'll lose, but the idea is to simply keep them away from the fight. That's a lot of talent that's now running around this back corner of the field. And what I'm actually going to do, let's see if I, yes, I'm going to bring my Hellenic Royal Cavalry General to support and take away these Noble Horse Archers. And you can see my opponent is already reacting, he is bringing his Eastern Cataphracts to support himself. And the idea is that hopefully, eh, eh, they seem to be moving a bit slow, but the idea is that hopefully my men can get a great charge, rout the Noble Horse Archers, and then escape before the Eastern Cataphracts come into play. So we're going to let those guys duke it out over there, while we see what my Skirmishers are doing. I've brought my Italian cavalry closer to my skirmishers to make sure uh, that he doesn't get a cheeky, quick charge off on them. And there they are. Eastern Cataphracts and Cartley Axemen are going to approach and attack my Cretans. The Noble Horse Archers aren't exactly going to rout, but like I said, I'm going to pull my Hellenic Royal Cavalry away and retreat to the back of my lines while this Eastern Cataphract is coming close. I pull my Italian Cavalry away and move in some Hoplites to stop his Eastern Cataphracts and Cartley Axemen. I also bring up my Mercenary Rhodian Slingers to increase my skirmishing effectiveness. Uh, this unit of Cretan Archers is being focus fired and they're going to take quite a beating. And now I'm actually going to take all of my Skirmishers and start focusing down his Skirmishers. 
And obviously, my men are just more expensive, I'm going to start to win that fight. Let's see. My hoplites actually get attacked in the rear just because of the way everybody was moving. But here comes a mercenary Italian cavalry charge. Let's see, are they going to make it? Yes, they are. Cavalry charge into the Cartley Axemen, and they are going to lose... Oh, maybe? Maybe anything? Ten? Ten? Yeah, about ten men. Meantime, I'm using my Militia Hoplites to protect my skirmishers from his melee infantry. I'm pulling my general away as quickly as I can. I think these guys route. Do they route? I don't remember. Hmm. We'll see if they route or not. My Citizen Cavalry has gotten cleaned up, but again, it's kept a lot of money over here, not getting flank fire, or flanking shots off on my army. I see this gap and try and run through into his skirmishers, but he's going to get these Eastern Cataphracts and actually stop my charge. This is because my, mind get, my men get bunched up and they just stop moving, so eh, what are you going to do? Anyways, these Levy Pikemen are going to go up against these Axemen, and they're actually going to do fairly well for the most part. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. My Hoplites are going to duke it out on my right flank, and thanks to that early cavalry charge, they're actually going to win. So if I forget about these guys, that's what's happening. And now this center is just going to form a giant melee blob. I realize I can't win with my Italian cavalry going against the skirmishers, so I go for a rear charge against his infantry. Doing my best to keep my men in a nice organized line. And where are they? Yeah. My militia hoplites route, but I'm going to reinforce with Etruscan hoplites. And in the meantime, I have all of my skirmishers trying to focus down his noble spearman general. Levy pikemen, again, my levy pikemen are going up against his axemen, and just because they're fighting from the front, they're doing fairly well. Eventually, his axemen are going to start to push through and kill my pikemen from behind. Let's see. My mercenary Etruscans are chasing away his eastern cataphracts. My general is coming back to join the fight. And this unit of hoplites is going to go up and screen away that unit of cataphracts. More skirmishing, more skirmishing from the hilltop. Let's see, huh, there they are. Cartley X-Men are going to rout, and my hoplites are going to rejoin the fight. I'm repositioning my skirmishers to try and stay away from his melee infantry. And what I'm going to end up doing is my general will get back right in the nick of time and be able to stop this unit of flanking Persian hoplites. They were trying to flank around, but they just they got stuck right on the corner of these Etruscans. However, a rear charge from Cartley Axman is going to do them in. The general is taking a lot of fire and is eventually going to die. And I decide right before these cataphracts charge down, I'm going to get a deadly volley off onto these Axmen. Yeah. And the Axmen are actually going to rout, allowing my levy pikemen to rejoin the melee fight. Eastern Cataphracts are going to get into my skirmish line. These Cretans are going to rout and run away, but they're actually going to come back. And in the meantime, I'm simply bringing in my infantry, trying to consolidate my army as best I can, uh, and stop his cavalry where I'm able to. My general is going to get a pretty good charge. The Persian Hoplites were not able to brace enough uh, as much as they wanted to. And even though the entire unit is going to get knocked down, and then my general will simply pull through the knocked over men, uh, they actually only lost about two men off the charge. So, interesting little bit of mechanic. Militia Hoplites are coming back to join the fight. I think they were chasing some horse archers. And my Militia Hoplites will come up and continue to chase the horse archers. In the meantime, I see that my Hellenic Cavalry cannot take on these Eastern Cataphracts and cannot get to the archers. I try to go for a rear charge, but my men get stuck. They get caught by the Eastern Cataphracts, and at this point I'm shouting, pull through, pull through, pull through, trying to get my men into the back of this line. Where did my... Hmm. More hoplites joining the melee in the center. I'm reforming my skirmish line where I can, and knocking out his noble horse archers. My general was able to get into the back of these noble spearmen and what else? And these axemen and rout them. So looking fairly good for me at the moment. 
And once these noble horse archers are out, it'll be looking even better. These Cartley Axemen, again, they're not bad. But at some point, they're going to, to start losing against the massive infantry I'm able to come up with. These Cretans that had started to rout were able to come back, and I'm going to use them as best I can. <laughs> and yeah, now it's simply a matter of, like I said, consolidating my army, keeping everybody together, not allowing these Eastern Cataphracts to get many rear charges, and this battle looks like it's going to be mine. Another charge from the Cataphracts, but I put my men into Shield Wall as best I can. Doesn't quite work, but these Etruscans are going to come in and clean up the Eastern Cataphracts. Horse archers are able to get into my slingers, and this is something, this was neat. I noticed that these slingers had ammo, but these Cretans did not. So I rushed my Cretans into melee while trying to pull my Rhodians away so that they can get shots off on the horse archers. Eastern Cataphracts route. Eastern archers are going to rout. The Cartley Axemen will eventually rout. And unfortunately, my Rhodian Slingers don't actually get a shot off. They decide to go... I think it's, you know, these five guys over here go back into melee. The Horse Archers will eventually clean them up. And yeah, so now it's simply a matter of, I have lots of heavy infantry, he has cavalry, and one unit of... Are they archers or Slingers? Yep, one unit of Slingers. And so you can see why this battle is going to take another three and a half minutes. La 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 I actually was like, please, please don't just run around for seven minutes. I'll I'll stand here, I'll let you shoot me to your heart's content. Just please come and finish this. Um, however, I decide there's no reason to actually get shot by slingers. I go back to this little clump of trees, try to get whatever cover I can. I think his slingers are out of ammo at this point, and so I push forward. And the plan was... Let's see... I guess I'm gonna... The plan was to have my hoplites pushing up and eventually forming a box, which would trap the slingers against the rear, the red line, and then the hope being that the horse archers would simply rout from losing. However, my opponent was nice enough, he pushed his slingers into combat, they routed, the horse archers routed, and that's that. So, great game to my opponent, uh, let's see how everybody did. My cavalry could have done a lot better, but they still did a very valuable thing. My citizen cavalry kept his noble horse archers out of the battle for the most part, whereas my Italian cavalry was able to get a decisive rear charge and begin knocking out his main infantry blob. All except for this unit of Cretan archers that got f uh, focused down, all of my skirmishers did a fantastic job. Yes, they were more expensive than his eastern skirmishers, but they paid for themselves many times over. My Etruscan hoplites did a fantastic job. I really think I'm going to start using these guys uh, more in battles if I get the chance. My regular hoplites did very well. Even my levy pikemen in this unit of militia hoplites did well. So yeah, all of my army were working together, staying together and watching each other's backs, uh, and they were able to prevail. And it just, my opponent just simply didn't have enough to push through that infantry blob. And I think he did blob up his soldiers a little bit too much, if, say, if his hoplites had gotten a better flanking charge off, or if his axemen had gotten, uh, I guess, a more frontal engagement, he, he could have done probably a lot better. And see where he got the chance, say, these Eastern Cataphracts, they did fantastic. Uh, these horse archers that got into my skirmishers also did fantastic. But in the end, I think he, my opponent just blobbed up a little bit too much. And these axemen and these cartley axemen, I love the idea of them, and I think they're really cool units. They just don't seem to be worth uh, their money right now. So yeah, again, great game to my opponent. Uh, I really did enjoy playing you, uh, and I hope to bring you a few more videos of factions that simply don't get played a whole lot. Perhaps the Aravachi, uh, definitely one with the Iceni. I'll see if I can make the British chariots work. Uh, and yeah, stay tuned for those, and I'll see you in the next one.